coming to the stage when he's home from college. We're so excited. He's so funny. Please give it up for Isa O'Neill. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, I'm a freshman in college. I just finished my first year in college. Um, the university I went to is called American University. It has a reputation for being very diverse, progressive, and forward-thinking. Not unlike the universities I had originally hoped to get into. <laughs> I'm an American, so I think American University is the place for me. <laughs> I didn't have the best social life in high school, in American University. I remember one time I asked a girl out, and she told me she just wanted to stay friends. And then I said, I'm about to, we're not friends. <laughs> I asked the girl out, and she told me she'd think about it. It's been almost a year now. <laughs> she must be very thoughtful. I asked the girl out at the beginning of college, and she said no. So I asked her out towards the end of the first year, and she told me she'd be quite, quite glad I asked her out again. She was uh, worried that she wasn't clear enough the first time. <laughs> I was at a party, and a girl came up to me, and she told me she was incredibly drunk, and uh, she liked that sex with the first guy she saw. No oh golly, she must have had a gigantic blind spot. <laughs> <laughs> I and a girl were walking and talking, and we were getting to know each other. And one of the things I got to know about her is she really likes to walk alone. <laughs> I'm seriously considering becoming a priest. I'm already celibate. I might as well get paid for it. Uh, towards uh, the end of high school, I was worried I wouldn't get any dates for the senior prom, uh, so I sent out an email to the girls in my school, asking them out, all 1,600 of them. <laughs> I got 224 no's, but I didn't only get no's, I also got uh, 779 hell no's, and 593 fuck no's. Uh, at the end of high school, I was really surprised all the people who wanted to sign my senior yearbook. Uh, they wrote really interesting things, like, hey Isa, I know your future will be bright, because things can't possibly get any worse for you. Hey Isa, I really respect how you just don't care what we all think of you. <laughs> wow, I didn't even know you went to school here. <laughs> hey Isa, we've known each other from kindergarten all the way through high school. Fine. <laughs> and Isa, we're all very glad to see you've gotten as far as you did, despite the autism. <laughs> And my math teacher wrote, I saw you grade in my class. I don't know why everyone hates you. <laughs> and my gym coach wrote, I will always remember you, I said. You were, the, you were the only student I ever had to take notes during gym class. <laughs> As you may have guessed by now, my name is Isa. <laughs> that was originally my father's name, but he changed it because it was hard to pronounce. And then he gave it to me. <laughs> but he had a reason to do that. He's an asshole. <laughs> People ask me, Hey Isa, uh, we know you can't get a date, but do you have any friends? And I say, Thanks a lot, Mom. <laughs> I actually do have friends. Uh, there's this one girl who rejected me once, and she's a particularly good friend of mine. I uh, called her up one time, and I asked her for advice on how to get a date. And she said that I need something to talk to girls about, something we could relate to over. So she asked me what my favorite songs were. And I said, well, my favorite song is the 2008 to present Jeopardy theme song. <laughs> uh, 
And my second favorite song is the 2001 to 2008. <laughs> Jeopardy theme song. <laughs> because without that song, you don't have full context for the 2008 to present. <laughs> Jeopardy theme song. So she suggested I talk about my favorite movies instead. And I said, well, my favorite movies are uh, Predator, Predator 2, <laughs> Alien, Alien vs. Predator, <laughs> An Alien vs. Predator 2. <laughs> so she hung up on me. I have another friend, we're very close. I texted her once. I wrote, hey Christina, we've known each other for a while now. And I feel it's about time for me to tell you something. Uh, Christina, I love you. And she texted back, who are you? <laughs> In my high school, there were a lot of signs which told us what to do. Uh, one of those signs told us not to bully other people, which was great because then I knew not to bully other people. Uh, but I think an issue was not everyone was reading the signs. <laughs> For instance, uh, one time uh, this girl came up to me and she said, Haha, your hair is stupid, and your face is dumb, and you're unfunny and ugly. And then she hit me. Now, in her defense, she probably wasn't reading the signs. <laughs> but at the same time, that's not really how you expect your math teacher to behave. <laughs> you have been an above-average audience. Thank you.